Hi Gemini, it's Jess from Bahati Life. If you don't know, I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. I'm a intuitive, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. Um, we're going to be focusing on the month of April for you as far as what it is that I'm seeing for you, what you can expect for your personal life. And because I was getting so many requests for um, a focus on love life because I haven't been reading so much for that, I decided that I would do that for this reading because you guys were requesting it. Um, is that all that I have to say? I'm pretty sure that's all that I have to say. First of all, Gemini, the first thing that I'm getting with you is quiet. Very quiet, actually. It's kind of weird, Gemini, because you can be very vocal. You normally have a lot of ideas, a lot of things flowing from you. I'm almost getting, like, pensive. Like, the word is puzzling. That's kind of the vibe that I'm picking up from Gemini right now. It's very puzzled. Like, I don't know if you're, like, puzzled. You're puzzled by certain things. Emphasis on the word puzzled because it's like you're trying to, you're concentrating, you're focusing, you're trying to put the pieces together, you're trying to make a bigger picture, you're trying to gain clarity, direction. You know what I'm thinking about? Like my, like my brows are all furrowed because I, I am, this is your energy for the month of April, Gemini. You're very much, um, Okay, cool. You have the Magician card show up um, at the very top of your reading. However, it's reversed, but we'll talk about that. Ten of Pentacles reversed and also Five of Swords. Something about the Five of Swords energy brings me, I'm, I'm getting this sense of, I'm, I'm hearing, the, it's not even like I can hear it. It's this idea of like, I was called to sacrifice this. I was called to let this thing go. This is where you're walking out of, Gemini. This is something that you're saying goodbye to. I almost feel like I should shuffle immediately for this. Hmm, you have such interesting energy already, Gemini. It's like, it sacrifices the word because it's one thing was exchanged for the other. It's March, May? Yeah, March. March, you, it's, March was very tumultuous for you, Gemini. I mean, it was tumultuous for a lot of us, but for you, it felt like you were almost under attack. It almost felt like a lot of things weren't, or maybe one thing in particular wasn't really going your way, and you were doing the best that you can. I don't know why, but it's like the word is deafening. It felt like the things that you heard, the things that you experienced, like it distracted you. Like it, it's, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Let me take a step back because there's a lot that's coming through right now. Basically, Gemini, I feel like you were moving towards a goal at the beginning of this year and then March happened for all of us and it just... The, the crap hit the fan and things just kind of splattered and you were on the receiving end of that it wasn't just what was going on in the external world it was going what was going on in your personal world you felt like you were under attack in that the word is sacrifice it was as if spirits you were told or guided or forced to by circumstances or intuitively to let go to release to surrender certain things that's what you heard as I'm looking at this, we have music card. It's something that you were heard, that you heard what you're called to do. Um, I'll go into these cards later. And when you did that, it's you you were forced to let go of something. You're forced to kind of adjust to the plan or to adjust to the circumstances, to adjust to what was happening. And with that, I'm getting a sense that you kind of felt in that moment that you lost your power. You lost your direction. Gemini, in your mind, it's when your mind is made up on something, for the most part, you 
are dead set on it. Like you're ready to go. You're ready to add on all this energy to support it, to build up what you have decided and created in your mind, no matter how long or how short that is. If it's a win or if it's something that you're committed to, you're invested in it for the most part. But I'm getting a lot of energy of relationships, things that were short-lived. It's not not just intimate relationships. Oh, crap. <laughs> I keep dropping these cards. <laughs> I can't stand chasing them. Um, it's not just romantic relationships. It's all types of connections, all type of chemistry, all types of linking up. At some point in March, spirit forced you or circumstances forced you to let it go. And with that, you a part of you kind of deflated. A part of you kind of it felt it. Gemini, I'm getting a sense that you are very... Whoever's watching this now, this Gemini energy, you're pretty resilient. You're, you, it takes a lot to bring you down, but you had a moment where you really, in March, where you're like, I, this took my power, this deflated me. I'm really getting this strong sense of it was not in vain. There's this, um, if you hear any noise in the background, it's Franklin coughing. Um, so please ignore that and excuse that. Franklin's my dog, by the way, if you don't know. Um, anyways, Gemini, back to you. So I feel as though it wasn't in vain. In fact, it, there is an exchange that will happen in the month of April, and it has everything to do with you gaining your power and you feeling like your luck has changed for the better. So Gemini, forgive me for saying this. I don't want it to sound bad. Um, but you're one of the most, you're one of the signs that can stay very optimistic. Um, can you find ways to keep yourself optimistic? And in the month of April, when you're starting this energy, when you're starting this month, you're very puzzled. You're very perplexed. You're very, um, like, hmm, you know, in your headspace, in your, like, damn, like, it really felt like, March gave took a hit. You took a hit in March, an emotional hit, an energetic hit, and it's hard for you to find that positivity, that optimism that gives you life, that keeps you moving forward. There's some signs who don't have positivity. They're not optimistic people. They're more realistic signs, or they're more negative, and that's just where they get their energy. For you, Gemini, you actually feed off of positivity and positive energy. And I feel as though that is actually going to come back to you in the month of, of April. There is also a really strong connection to love, not only because this card is here, but the Magician card reversed. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. I feel as though, Gemini, you've been choosing partnerships in the past or you're starting to realize that you have chosen partners or romantic connections or relationships as a whole, maybe it's not just romantic, that you chose them because they served a purpose, because it made sense, because they would add value, they would add security to your life. Maybe it wasn't exclusively all love. Hear me out. Don't get offended. Hear me when I say this. Um, that was something I feel like is going to come to the wood, the, the, the forefront of for the month of April for you is you're going to start to, to really kind of observe and see how it was. It's actually good that you didn't enter into relationships or those relationships didn't last with the people that you wanted it to last with um, because it wouldn't have it wouldn't have it wouldn't have. If it would have lasted, it wouldn't have been happy. It it could it would it would have been messy. That's why I'm saying that there's an exchange that happens here, where universe says, "I see how." Universe says to you, "I see how I've asked you to to sacrifice and to surrender and to release certain things. Realize that it's not in vain. It's going to come back to you in a way that is actually gives to you so much more than." Uh, and on all levels, on all platforms, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, Gemini, you have a lot of focus on the heart, on love, on commitment, on bonds, on real. If you're in relationship, um, friendships now, 
you are getting a really clear sense of who is there for you and who wants to be there for you, who wants to support you, um, people who are advocating for you, people who genuinely want to be by your side. And you should also be getting a sense of people who are there to take from you. Literally, this is, as I was saying that, we have Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, and Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is energy that Spirit is trying to move you out of, transition you out of. There are people that are in your safe space, that are in your, 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 your close-knit, your personal life, that are actually taking from you. And it's what they can gain from you. It's what they can benefit from you. And Spirit is saying, give that to me. Don't take it personally. It's being transformed and being transformed for the higher, for the better. It's not going to be good if these people stay in your personal energy because they have so much to, to take from you and, and their, their purpose in your life is to actually take from you. And that's not beneficial. That's not healthy. That's unhealthy. That's, that's crippling. Um, so Spirit is saying the month of April it's highlighting that. So that's why I'm feeling like your sense of, like you're very perplexed, per perplexed. you're very puzzled at trying to like, what is this? You know, there's, and, and then at the same time, you have connections coming through that are showing you that there are people that are really out for your highest and greatest good. All of this information we have um, page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles reversed, and nine the, the Hermit card. All of this is to show you and to prove to you and to give you facts to prove to you and to show you that Spirit wants you to be self-sufficient. It wants you to, the word is self-contained, meaning that you can exist on your own happily in your bubble and it would just be your perfect world. And Spirit says that some people who are in there, they don't need to be there, and you need to observe it. Um, and you actually, I'm seeing you spending some time by yourself in this space of perplexed energy, puzzled energy, where you are learning facts, hearing certain things, being guided to, to kind of relinquish and let go of certain connections and relationships that don't serve you. Puppies! Sorry guys, Franklin is... Here and wants to hang out with my Gemini folk. Did you just wake up from a nap? Good for you. Okay. Um, this, again, this is an, un for the month of April, Gemini, I'm seeing you unburdening yourself. You're letting, you're, you're taking some of this sh stuff, energy that you've been shouldering, these obligations. I'm almost getting phone calls. Like, these phone calls that you've been taking, you're going to stop taking, accepting certain people's phone calls. Um, I'm saying all this, I, this is just my way sometimes, Gemini, is that I will start off by saying the hard first and then the better. The better, the, the, the light at the end of the tunnel is your relationships is going to drastically change. You're going to find true love, new love, or better love with the person that your heart desires. Not... Um, people of the past that do not serve you and that have been taking from you or hiding from you and a snake in the grass, you know who that is. This is real, true love that is obvious, clear, and defined. You're not going to be confused by it. You're not going to be com like feel compelled to do anything or feel like it's a struggle. It's going to be easy and effortless, Gemini. Um, a part of you is still very defensive. Um, Queen of Swords is here, the Sun card reversed is here, as well as the Emperor reversed. These are just things that, as I'm looking at it, Spirit is saying, rely on us, rely on your angels, rely on your guides, your guardians, Archangel Raphael specifically, to provide clarity and healing and help for you in the month of April. All of this, is, it's literally there to give you back your power. I'm telling you, April, um, Gemini, April is the, is the month for you where all things that you surrender that have been negative to you, that have been depleting of your energy, that have left you in a state of confusion and wondering who you are, why did that happen, did you deserve that, all of those things are let go of in order for you to receive better life, 
Look, healing is yours. The star card is here. Two of wands, five of wands. So this is energy that says, get back. You're going to feel the need to get back in the game. Your life is going to come back to you. Healing is going to come back to you. But first, there's some there's some specific things that, um, that spirit wants you to see and observe. Who is in your inner circle? What is in your inner circle? Energy that is around you. Things that is that you're doing. Things that you're entertaining that spirit wants you to let go of. Things spirit wants you to to release and let go of. For In exchange for that, you get joy, your heart's joy. You get people who are for you, committed to you, bonded to you, that are have so much blessing, so much abundance, so many gifts. Um, your opportunities will skyrocket. Your um, bank account will skyrocket. Your heart, their, the love that is that you feel, your positivity, all of that will skyrocket, will lift up, will increase. But it's... Something has to be sacrificed here, and I feel like there's a, I don't want to say a snake in the grass, but there's something here that has taken your power that has, and you have almost allowed it, you know, because you're, you've almost been like trying to figure out how to put the puzzle, pieces of the puzzle together when it's like that puzzle doesn't belong here. Then we also have this card nature here. I'm seeing you really surrendering to music, to harmony. You have nature here and music. This is finding harmony in things, finding pleasure in things again, giving yourself things that make you feel happy and bring your vitality, exercising, having hanging out with your friends, um, listening to uplifting music, spending time in nature. All of these things are going to help you to, to get your power back, to gain your power back because something in March really kind of took the wind out of your sails, um, Gemini. That's what it is that I'm seeing. Um, now, I hope that that makes sense. Now, let's go ahead and look into your oracle cards. I just feel like, like I said, I just feel like April is going to be the month of exchange for you, where you're exchanging one thing for the next, um, but for better. I don't feel like everything has to be in exchange because there's a lot of people that are around you. Like I said before, you're going to see who is there for you and who hasn't been and you're gonna stop wanting the things that haven't been there for you that's the biggest key component to all of this is that your perspective shifts the piece of the puzzle so the cards that jumped out for you for the month of April for Gemini are forgiveness so I feel like this is you just being like I I, I don't know with this card I'm getting a sense of I just want better for myself um, Forgiveness, obviously, is saying, like, listen, you did this, this happened, I let it go, I'm not saying that it's okay, but I'm going to put it in the past and heal. I'm going to accept it, because there's nothing that I can do to change it, um, and there's nothing that I can do to change you, but I'm, also, I'm really getting this sense with this card, Forgiveness, that says, you know, I'm just there's nothing I can do with, with this. Like, I'm just going to move on. I'm going to do better. I'm going to feel better. With that, you have compassion and you have gratitude. This is gratitude for the moment. This brings me back to music and nature and harmony, the cards, the angel cards that I had pulled for you. This is having gratitude for the simplest things that make you feel happy again, that lift your energy, that lift your spirits. And then compassion is really compassion for yourself along this journey and also compassion for others. I don't feel like you need to change them or fight with them or anything. If anything, it's almost like give them mercy and just be like, I had already decided that I was going to let go of this anyways and give it to the universe. Also at the root of this is relationships. Your relationships for the month of April are definitely deepening. Look at Franklin. Like, how did you get under my... He's such a silly boy. Okay, let's talk about your love life, Gemini. Oh, wow. So, I wasn't going to read these cards, but they just jumped out. Calling in your soulmate and separation. So, this is what I'm saying. There's just been some energy here. Spirit is clearly saying that there are some things that have needed that you have needed to separate from that have you that did not need to be near you, and by giving that space and by saying no, 
you over there, I'm over here. It helps to deepen your relationships and your connections so that you can actually call in better relationships for yourself. Um, compassion is, I feel like, one thing that's been missing. I feel like you're very quick to be compassionate and forgiveness with forgiving with others and considerate of others, but maybe others have not been that way with you. And that simply is not fair. Um, let's look into your love life a little bit more. So Gemini, I'm getting, I, I'm seeing that if you're not calling in your soulmate and setting intention for your soulmate, um, it's speaking into life the things that it is that you want for your relationships, for your love life, for your romantic life. Okay, so Gemini, I'm seeing four of cups. This is a sense of I'm not happy here. I'm not, I'm kind of bored. It almost feels like you're accepting the status quo. This is why you need to call in your soulmate. This is why you have to separate from certain things because you're not happy there anyways. What, are you going to stay in a space that is that you don't like anymore? No. Ultimately, you have the king of wands around you and you also have the seven of pentacles. You have to observe and see the fact that you want more life, more excitement, more enthusiasm, more fun, more passion. All of those things you want in your relationship. You want to incorporate them in your relationship. So speak into life and put that out there. Ten of wands showed up for you. This is someone who has been kind of shouldering the burden and being like, oh, okay, you know, I'll do this for us, or I'll do this because I have to. And Spirit's like, stop doing that. We want more for you. We want better. You're not happy here anyways. There's something about an aspect in the love life that you would wish to change for the better. Spirit says, go ahead and put that out there. The Hermit card is here. The Page of Pentacles. Yes, and the Nine of Cups. These are cards that are saying, if you really took some time out in separation and sat with yourself and really called out to the universe and invested into your intention, it, it will manifest. It will absolutely manifest. I'm, from, I'm remembering this card, the King of Wands, um, especially for my Gemini folk. You guys love a very um, exciting, fresh funky in the, in the best way possible relation like love life relationship you don't want dull and monotonous and I feel like that's what see Gemini your card that ju just jumped out is uplift your thoughts April is going to be about you getting back into those positive positive thinking positive vibes trying to boost your optimism once again when you're optimistic and when you're positive Gemini you can do anything and I feel like that's the thing that Spirit wants for you for the month of April is for you to get back into that optimism again, to feel optimistic about your life. Um, there's this um, last message that I said before, but I want to share with you again, which is that anything that you've had to sacrifice and let go of, it will come around in another form. That your what Spirit has taken from you or what Spirit has asked to, for you to hand over it will be given back to you in a better form, but spirit could see that there was an issue. So that's why it was removed, okay? So just really connect with, again, this, and I feel like you also need a hug, Gemini energy, so I don't know if you could see this, but it's like this very protective figure over you that says, I'm, I wanna hug you, I wanna embrace you, I wanna hold you, I want you to feel safe, you are mine, I am yours, and that's what, I see because I feel like you've kind of almost been maybe being the stronger person for everyone else but who is the stronger person for the Gemini so Gemini I hope that this reading resonated for you I'm really speaking major blessings over you for the month of April or whenever you're watching this video I hope that you are well I do want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I talk about all of what's going on in the planets, astrologically, what you can expect, how will, how it will impact you and influence you. And you can be a part of my wonderful family, my tribe, the Bahati Vibe Tribe. So I'm sending you all my love, and I hope to talk to you soon and see you in one of my next videos. Bye!